Hey there guys, today I'm going to do a little bit of bank based trout fishing today. I'm hoping for a big trout, you know, somewhere in that 16, 18 inch plus slot. It is 34 degrees, so winter has arrived. Got a nice brisk wind blowing straight into my face, which I actually am quite happy about. Uh, and I'll talk about why. But let's get down to the water, start getting some uh, lures out there and see if we can get a fish to bite. Okay, starting with uh, Castmaster Spoon. I like spoons when it's windy because they cut through the wind a lot better than like a spinner will. And I got a little single side wash on there, pinch barb. So we'll give this a shot. Try copper, we'll change up colors. We can get a bite. The spoon casts through the wind a lot better than a spinner would. Oop, there's a bite right there. Right at the shore. All right. It's pretty typical of these guys. They wait until it gets close to the bank and then they hit it. I'll let this sink a little bit. It's a good sign to get a bite on the first uh, cast in. Oh, another good grab. All right, come on. Give me a fish here. Sometimes these siwash hooks get a lot of missed grabs. Sometimes I think marvelous treble is better. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Boy, I'm just missing them. All right. Three missed hits, I'm gonna switch to a smaller treble hook that's barbless. All right, so I'm switching out from a barbless single side wash to a treble. Just feel like I get better hookup ratio. Some people will say that these are more damaging to fish, but I think in barbless, that's not true. And in fact, these bigger, long J side wash hooks, I tend to brain spike more small fish. So I actually like a small barbless treble for trout better. Um, I feel like you get better landing ratio, less likely to lethally kill a f lethally hook a fish. Um, nine times out of the ten, they're just slapping at it. You catch them just on one little hook. That's it. So we'll give it a shot. See how it goes. Well, you've had a bunch of bites already, but nothing landed, and I just don't like those J sidewash hooks. we go. First bite and I hooked up. There's a small guy, maybe 13, 14 inches. Very pretty looking now. There we go. Really pretty fish. All right, first fish on the board, but we want a bigger one than that. That was the first bite though on that spoon with the treble. I hooked up so just goes to show those small barbless trebles are a lot better run this one shallow in this sunlit cove here oh there we go this one's got some weight to it. Good 
Got some weight to it. Oh, nice fish. Woo! That's a decent fish. I think they might be feeding shallow, which makes sense. That's what these wind, when this wind pushes all the bugs and terrestrial things that are getting blown down here into these shorelines. So all the food base ends up down here. And then they feel like they have a lot of cover because of all the, the wave action and froth. This is a nice fish, guys. Probably right around 15, 16 inches. Nice fish. Just fishing on him on a light rod today. Oh, come here, buddy. Bulldogging me here at the bank. There we go. Wow, nice fish. He's off the off the spoon. Look at that fish, guys. That is a tank. Beautiful. Cutthroat trout. Alright, let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Nice. Let's walk down here and fish the other side of that shallow cove. Let's try that again. There's fish right there. Oh, got him, got him. <laughs> right at the bank. Just come up and slammed it. They would normally not do that if it was super sunny and calm, but they can't see me here with all this wave breaking. This is a very, very pretty fish here. Oh, I got him. Woo! That's probably in the 18 inch range. Beautiful fish. Yes. That is what I wanted. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful. Right, let's get this out now. That's what we came here for, these really big trout. Look at this guy. Beautiful. I'm trying to keep him wet here in the surf. See that cutthroat. Gorgeous. All right, let's get him back in the water. Here he goes. See you later, buddy. Nice fish. There we go. There's fish. I'm catching them all within 10 feet of the beach, actually. So pretty these hens. Gorgeous cutthroat. Alright. Alright. Beautiful fish. Another dandy hen. There she's off. Get her back in the water here. There she goes. They pop right off as soon as they hit that net. Got to keep that pressure on them. Okay, so we changed up. I'm going to work this cove down here. I'm also going to go to a chartreuse and blue spinner. You can see I've used this spinner quite a bit. It's very productive. Got that single side wash on there. The way they attack spinners is a lot different than they attack spoons. They tend to come up from behind the spinner and just engulf it. There's those spoons, they'd come in and slash, which is why they tend to miss those hookups on that uh, sidewash spoon. So we'll see. These cutties love that chartreuse and blue pattern in this lake. I don't know why, but get some going. Oop, there's a bite right there. <laughs> First cast. 
Nice. Feels like a little guy, but still, it's good. At least head thumping. Ooh, he's putting on some weight now. He's running out deep. He's running out here to the deep water in front of me. Oh, that's a nice fish, actually. Big buck. Awesome. Very colored up. Wow, this guy is beautiful. It's almost as pretty as a rainbow. Them colors. It looks like a rainbow. It's like, man, I thought I was getting dinner. I got this stupid spinner in my face. This guy is being burly. Here we go, got him. So you can see where I hooked him, that Siwash is actually going through touching the back of his eye, which is why I hate Siwash. Gorgeous. Woo! That is a chunkster. Look at that fish. I'm going to get him back in the water while it's healthy. There he goes. All right, I'm going to repeat what I did there before. I'm going to run that thing down along the shoreline. Because I think they're in these shallow coves feeding. And it seems like today just a steady retrieve is doing better than an erratic retrieve. Kind of, it's bouncing off the rocks a little bit. That's okay. Ooh, there's a bite. Dang it. There he is, got He hit it that first time and came back for it. And so they, they attack these spinners so differently. Than the spoons. The spoons, you can feel them come up. They slap at it, strike at it. I think it's the erratic action. This is a slow, steady thing. They come up behind it like they're attacking a small fish from behind. Oop, off he goes. Smaller guy. Oop, there's a bite. There you go, got him. Doesn't feel like a big fish, but the last one didn't either. He's running down the bank away from me. That's a small, ooh, there's a big fish behind him though. That's good to know. Look at that big fish following that little guy. Oh, there's two or three of them. Look at that. That's just cool. He's like, give me what you have. This one's only 14 or so. 13 or 14. The one behind it was 16, 17. Oh, he's still back there. You can see him swirling around it. If I had a friend here, they could cast out and catch that thing. That fish is still right there. I'm going to get this guy in and get him turned loose again. Here, buddy. He's off. All right. Pretty little one. There he goes. Right, let's try it back down the beach. I don't know what that was. Oh, there we go. There's fish. Whew. I think something hit it right as soon as it hit the water. This feels like a nice fish. It's head thumping good. Got me, she's fighting me right down the beach. Fighting me shallow. Man, this guy's going squirrely. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a big dark fish. This is a nice fish. Another really pretty one. Look at that. Oh, he's a tank. Okay, come here, big boy. Oh my gosh, look at this tank, guys. That's a big one. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's a big dude. Big old buck. Look at that buck, guys. Man, gorgeous fish. Let's get this big dude back. Look at that fish. That is a tank. Man, gorgeous fish. See you later, bud. Seems like I'm catching all the really big ones down here, so. Try again. 
That was such a weird cast. As soon as it hit the water, I thought something hit it. There's another one. Wow, it's a hot bite today. Sometimes it's bad weather. Like I said, it pushes all these, all the prey down here on this end of the lake. They love to feed shallow, but they hate to do it on the nice days because all the eagles out here and stuff prey on them. This guy's swimming right at me. He's swimming straight at me. Oh, it's another just gorgeous fish. A little bit smaller, but the colors on it are amazing. Man, look at the colors on this fish, guys. That thing is beautiful. Ooh, gorgeous fish, isn't it? Wow, stunning. Stunning, stunning fish. Man, look at that fish, beautiful. All right, let's get him on the way. There he goes. And I've had like 30 last casts here, so I think I'm officially going to make this one my last cast. Just goes to prove how on and off fishing can be depending on conditions. And you know, sometimes if you wait for that weather window for it to be more comfortable for you, you might be missing the best bite of the day. I didn't get here super early in the morning. Um, I usually like to wait a little bit in these winter trout, but definitely paid off to get out here in the bad weather. Not a bite. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed being out here with me today. Uh, just kind of a change up to do a little bit of bank fishing. It's been so windy, just can't get out in the kayaks. Uh, so hopefully weather patterns will start to lay down. I can get back out on the open water and plastic, and then pretty soon lakes will start freezing up. I'll see you next time. Just remember, fish smarter. Not harder. Bye, guys.